Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now for today's video, the prompt from Jake Parker's list for Inktober was cruel. Now, I had seen somewhere, I think it was on Twitter, that it says, okay, I gotta pull it up so that way I can read it to you guys. And I just, I totally agreed with it as soon as I saw it. Okay, let me find it. Okay. I'm just gonna say it, the real terrifying Halloween figure is the other mom from Coraline, period. Freddy Cougar and Jason ain't got nothing on this bleep. <laughs> she gave me nightmares from ages 5 to 10. Y'all will treat her with the respect and legendary horror queen deserves. <laughs> it's so true. She's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So when I thought of cruel, I thought of all the villains, but then I thought of the one villain, Halloween villain. I mean, Coraline is not a Halloween movie. I watch it all the time. I love the movie Coraline, but she is terrifying. She's very terrifying because she just messes Coraline's world up. Now, thank God Coraline is actually a smart child and she defeated the other mother, but Cor Coraline was, you know, she was completely just mesmerized with the other mother and the other mother was manipulating her and we never really find out in the movie if the other mother was just going to lock her up in that room and keep her keep her there forever or if she really was going to eat her or if she was going to take care of her we never really know and we have to leave it up onto our imaginations that what exactly happened what would have happened if Coraline would have given her eyes to the other mother I'm just interested about that, but thank God we have smart children like Coraline that actually figure these things out and actually think like an adult when she needs to be. And so, I mean, Coraline's a brat for most of the movie, but when she kicks in her adult mode and her adventure mode, she defeats the other mother, which is awesome. I love Coraline. I don't understand why so many people are creeped out by Coraline. I really don't understand, other than the other mother. And when the other mother and Coraline face off in their game, everything kind of does turn a little scary. But I'm, I love Claymation. I love Leica Studios so much. They are just amazing. And if anybody looks up the behind the scenes footage on this movie being made or Paranorman or Kubo, y'all will have so much more appreciation for this movie. So if you're scared of this movie, don't look at it as, I'm terrified of this movie. Don't look at it that way. Watch the behind the scenes footage and see how these dolls are made and how these houses and sets are made and how long of a period this takes to make one of these movies. And then you'll have so much more appreciation for these movies. It doesn't matter if they're creepy. It just matters that you appreciate the art that they are. And I mean, that's what, that's something that my boyfriend actually told me was he told me if there's a scary movie go look at the behind the scenes footage go look at all the behind the scenes footage and then it's not as scary and i actually did that for the movie it i watched a couple of interviews with um what's his name bill skarsgar i don't know how to say his last name but i watched a couple interviews with him i think it's bill skarsgar i think it is i don't know i think I forgot. I forgot. I'm not that huge of an It fan, but I really did want to watch the movie. <laughs> so I actually looked at interviews with the guy who played It and with the kids. So I was watching all that. I mean, I knew Finn and that was about it. Oh, if the kid from Stranger Things is in It, I need to watch it because, I mean, he's going to grow up soon. He's going to be a teenager. I mean, he already is. He already looks like a young man. <laughs> so I went and watched It but I watched all the behind the scenes footage that way. It wasn't as scary because you see how fake it is. So that's something I would totally suggest if you're scared of Coraline or Paranorman or um, Kubo, then look at the behind the scenes footage and take it into consideration that it is a huge work of art and how much time and effort goes into these movies and then it won't be as scary. So yes, I hope you all watch Coraline this Halloween because it's a great Halloween movie. I hope you guys have the most wonderful day and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!